What is going on, YouTube? This is Acid Roots. So I'm going to review the second album by rapper Webby. Basically, this album is called Savage Life 2, and it came out in the winter of 2008. Now, this is a pretty large album. I particularly like this album. It's going to get a rather rave score, but I kind of look after it. The main song that this album was known for was Independent, which was a top 10 rap song. And by that, I mean top 10 on the Billboard 100 and stuff, but it just didn't really have like a follow up single. So this is kind of this was Webby's breakout album. He had done a lot of damage in 2005 with the song Give Me That off of Savage Life One. But kind of like Lil Boozy, he kind of struggled to put out follow-up singles. But I kind of look after this. This is, this is a pretty classic Dirty South album, I would have to say. It's just kind of the problem that the second single is just kind of a direct change of tempo. It's the same typical trap that so many artists fall for so many times. But I look after it. There are some other club records on here I probably would have went with. I mean, it did kind of feel like this album maybe didn't have the single that it needed to follow it up. I do feel like I Miss You is a good song, but I probably would have went with like... Uh, like fly as an eagle or something like that one of those type of songs we'll get to like i'll talk about what song i probably think should have been the second single later but just to kind of say this album is pretty much known for independent it was like a huge song on par with like low and some of those type of songs from the first half of 2008 some of those songs that you just heard all over the place it's kind of a kind of wintry kind of flashy promo cut that just did a lot of damage had a pretty emphatic hook and was just a nice one that kind of good bop was basically webby's breakout song for the longest time it's just a good overall hit it was just too bad that he couldn't capitalize on that success because I remember by the time like the summer and fall of 2008 showed up, Webby was nowhere to be found. He was definitely there in like the first three or four months of 2008, but by the time you started getting to spring and summer, he just had vanished and he really didn't come back until three and a half years later with Savage Life 3, which was really like that album was a good album. Savage Life 3 was a good album, but it just was out of his like folks had kind of forgotten about him by that point and just didn't really chart nearly as heavily as he did around this time this was just a good concept as to how it kind of went i do feel like this is a classic dirty south album just has a lot of i mean despite the fact that it's not packed with multifaceted singles as far as that kind of goes it's not like a multi-platinum kind of album but it is a good one i do feel like this is definitely one it's more in like a hardcore rap sense most people would probably look at this album and say independent and start singing that one something like that but there are some other ones on here just to dig deeper and kind of say yep there is some ones it's just kind of it just depends i mean it's i can kind of see this not being as much of like a casual album i think for casual folks i'll try to point out some songs that are more casual kind of hits not so much strictly like you have to know 60 70 percent of stuff or more about rap music to really appreciate this project there are some ones like independence pretty affable just because that's a pretty casual hit but there are some other ones on here maybe like i miss you is a little bit hardcore but there are some other ones that we'll kind of get to some of those but independent is the first single and it has little boozy and little fat on here this is a nice promo club night i would say it's a good 2000s rap highlight and it has a lot of bounce and social perk about it so this is just an overall good casual kind of cut this makes sense it's like a pretty large hit single this did a lot of damage and this for a short while this is kind of one that kind of had webby almost becoming like a household name this is definitely one where he had his breakout hit and he had his 15 minutes of fame I mean, this was kind of a tough song to follow up. It had a good topic, good sense of ambience about it for just being independent and stepping out and paying your own bills and that type of stuff as far as that kind of goes. But I look after it like it just did not really have the follow up on here. I mean, there was attempts to kind of get it, but I just felt like in like a casual kind of fair, the hook was so recitable. It's just the, the hook was so recitable. It's just the typical kind of fashion as far as getting some of these where you'll get like that real recitable song. We've talked about this before as far as that kind of goes, just the concept of it just not having another one that just was that chantable and just kind of just affable in terms of those contexts. But I look at it, it's just a nice gem, nice kind of flashy club night. I just feel like it's a good promo cut as far as that kind of goes. Just good dress to impress, looking snazzy kind of feel as far as that kind of goes. It's good hookiness. I like, I forgot that little Boozy was kind of on this song. It's a good concept to kind of get him on here because this is pretty much one of his biggest hits too and it's not even his song. So it's a good concept about that. And Lil Fat's on here. So... The second single is I Miss You, and this has LaToya Luckett on the hook. This is a solid boo song, and it's a softer ladies bop. I would say it's a direct change of pace from the first single, and it's a good homely gem. So I do recommend this song. It's a nice ladies cut to kind of have, but it just has such a softer tempo and just an overall kind of more adrift kind of pace that it just is like a direct kind of u-turn from like the style of independent i think you know when that kind of happens it just feels like a lot of folks they get kind of in their vibes and then 
when you just switch the tempo up that directly, it's kind of like, well, what the hell is this? I think that's just kind of the concept about where this is a good song, but it is kind of, I feel like maybe this would have been a better third single. I think this probably would have been a nice one to have had as like a third single, but this kind of, I think folks were too busy bouncing and jiving to like independent and then to kind of get this one. I mean, it was to show Webby's versatility and just a good concept because normally he didn't have songs like this, songs like, Give Me That and Independent, his two hit songs were kind of more gangster rap-esque and thuggish and that type of stuff. But this is just kind of one that showed Webby in a more kind of relaxed, kind of sedate kind of mode, just kind of boo-booed up and that type of stuff. I kind of look after it. It just, um, be like, good song, but this happened too soon in terms of the single approach. That's just kind of the thing. But then the promotion of the album is kind of wrapped up pretty quickly. Like this album or this particular song, I Miss You, was like the single that was released like february or so 2008 and then it just kind of tapered off and was by the time winter 2008 ended the album was pretty much forgotten about which is too bad because this is a classic album i do feel like it's that good maybe i'm just a hardcore rap fan maybe there's not as many casual kind of cuts on here we'll dissect that and kind of get to it but i do feel like there are some gems on here but it's just kind of the concept that it's just kind of I, I feel like for the most part it seems like people just think of like independent that about takes care of it but there are some other ones so talk about the songs i recommend on here so there's 16 songs on here and out of those 16 i wound up recommending 13 so those 13 songs would be independent i miss you Six Twelves, too smooth i know i'm hot just like this a miracle i'm ready dodo fly as an eagle y'all ain't making no money in first night so talk about some of these like a real nice one on here is Dodo. This is a great a great smoking song is Dodo. This is a dreary smoking gem. It's a lazy feeling stuck in a daze kind of cut and it has a nice sense of jive. So this is definitely one if you're trying to get pounded out of your skull, that type of stuff as far as that kind of goes. It's a good kind of really kind of malaise kind of one, just kind of groggy kind of one that just works as a great smoking cut and has a bonus little fat and bun beer on here. So that's a good concept as far as that kind of goes. Just kind of look after it and... Uh, Another nice one is a miracle. This is a nice glitzy cut. It reminds me of like a Trilla leftover by Rick Ross. So this is definitely something that just sounds very similar to Rick Ross's Trilla album. I'm surprised that that was not on his album. And it could have, I mean, Webby just really like siphoned like that Rick Ross kind of energy and did it well. I mean, it has just folks on the song that just feels like it should have been on the Rick Ross album. Birdman and Rick Ross lay verses on this song also, but it really feels like less of a Webby song and more of like a Rick Ross song. But I do like it. I like when that kind of happens, like, you know, sometimes you'll get Lil Wayne on a song and it feels like a Carter leftover or something like that that's happened. And, you know, Lil Wayne will steal the show, something like that. It's just kind of a concept where this one, I like this song quite a bit, but it just doesn't as much feel like Webby, but it's a pretty nice one. It feels like a jazzy promo cut and it's a good 2000s rap flash, I would say. It just kind of feels wintry. The interesting thing about this album is it came out in February, but there's kind of some songs that feel like winter songs and some ones that feel like summer songs. So I feel like songs like A Miracle and Fly as an Eagle. And maybe there's like one other one that kind of feel like winter songs, but then there's some ones on here like uh, I'm Hot. And but then there's some ones on here like I'm Hot and Too Smooth that really feel like scorching summer day type tunes. So I like that Webby kind of had a sense of the seasons and added some of that mixture in there. It's a, it's a good spice to kind of have, I would say. Speaking of I'm Hot, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this one. I'm Hot is like a very hot day scorcher. This is like a summer riding out type gem, and it just feels like a lemonade and vodka type day. This one just really feels like a burner for like middle of July, middle of August, something like that when it's just scorching summer. It really has like a real ravenous type feel, but I definitely like that one. Another summer tune, like I was saying, that's kind of like that is Too Smooth. This one's a little bit more of a lazy summer malaise, kind of heat wave, fun outside type cut, I would say. And it's got some mellow, and the mellow vibes are kind of catchy. So both of these, Too Smooth, this really feels like a lazy kind of syrupy, kind of just drinking a beer, drinking a 40 ounce, drinking like a cold 45, something like that type feel as far as that kind of goes. Just smoke in like a good joint, something like that. Just having a good time, just kind of lazy summer day, cruising around, some of that type of stuff. Just appreciating like the sights, the heat wave, the lack of clouds in the sky, that type feels. Just good stuff. Fly as an Eagle is, like I was saying, a wintry song. This is a really nice one. This has a great Pimp C hook. He just nailed this one. This is probably one of the last songs that Pimp C was on in his lifetime. It's just an excellent one. He did a great job. Great Pimp C hook. It's a wintry kind of promo gem, and it's an easy kind of schmooze evening and accommodations type cut. I just feel like this is kind of one. There are some promo songs on here. I kind of like this kind of sense of this, like, kind of stepping out, kind of more dressed and pressed, kind of flashiness. I feel like songs like Fly as an Eagle, Independent, 
And there's like another one that's kind of like that on here. I can't really think of it. Maybe first night a little bit. That's kind of like some of those. There's just a good sense of like some club bops on here that kind of have that. I would almost say that Flies and Eagle would have been a good choice for a single. Maybe it wasn't because Pimp C wasn't around. I would have to say that's a pretty nice one that could have probably been that way. And a Miracle would have been a nice one. That's another promo because that one. So yeah, but... 612s is a good one. This is a regular night out and kind of a vanilla club hopper. I would say it's a comfy gem to get crunk to and pop off. I would definitely kind of say so. This is just one kind of a stock one. Feels like a little boozy, something that really feels like it was produced by Mouse on the track or something like that. So it's just kind of a standard club hopper as far as that kind of goes. This is good to kind of get some of those. Just another, just another kind of vintage album cut, I would say. Kind of vanilla, but it works pretty damn well. Another really good one, a good song on here that I used to listen to quite a bit back in the day was I Know, and this has Young Dro on here. This is a dope beat and kind of a catchy hook, just a real nice one. It's a lazy night venue gem, and it, overall, it's an overall nice stock album cut, I would say. So this is just kind of a good one. This kind of feels like another vanilla club cut, kind of similar to 612s and that type of stuff, but it just kind of works like some good just background club music to kind of hear and get comfortable to as far as that's kind of concerned. Just a nice just a nice one. Not quite a full blown dance cut like First Night or Independent or some of those type ones or Fly. Not quite like a full blown dance cut like First Night or Independent or some of those type ones, but it is just some stock kind of vanilla club nights out. So it's good that Webby had a good sense of flash on this particular album. So I definitely like the concept of that. A song that was kind of an odd pick on this album, but I did like the overall affability of this one is just like this. This is kind of a city hopping bop. I feel like it's a cruising cut and it reminds me a lot of UGK, something that Bun B and Pimp C would kind of do. It has an uptown and kind of lazy sunny day type feel about it. So this is just one for just cruising around, this lazy kind of uptown, this summery kind of maybe syrup sipping just having a good time just appreciating the sights barbecue type music just kind of being uptown lack type music stuff like that as far as that kind of goes it's a good concept to kind of get some of those this really feels like a texas too and i know that webby is not from texas i want to say he's from louisiana new orleans something like that but yeah it's just kind of a good texas bop kind of feels very similar to stuff ugk would do there's a couple songs I'm going to list that are getting ready to step out and get ready to get crunk type tunes. I do like both of these, one of which is I'm Ready. The song that really kind of gave me some good energy for getting ready to step out is I'm Ready. This is a 10 toes down kind of cut, and it's it's a song where game is laid down. This is definitely one of the ones where you just get a sense of like what Webby's about and game being laid down flat, that type of stuff. Definitely like the concept of that one. This gives a good ambient energy for getting ready to step out. So this is just kind of one for like a good energized and exhilarating kind of sense it's a little bit more mellow compared to y'all ain't making no money i feel like that one's probably the better cut when it comes to getting ready to step out that one gave me more exhilarating kind of vibes but i feel like i'm ready is a good one that's kind of in combination with that this and how that kind of goes they're a good one two punch for that but then to talk about y'all ain't making no money this is a getting ready to step out cut it's definitely a get crunk gem and it has an it's an exhilarating bop and it just gets me energized it's just a good one this has a real kind of crunchy kind of club bop type energy this has a really kind of crunchy kind of stepping out type energy for just um, looking nice and getting ready to have a good time and just having the excitement of just that initial opening moments of seeing the beers show up and seeing the drinks show up and the, the women looking nice and that type of stuff as far as that kind of goes. It's a good concept for how that kind of gets to happen. Another one that probably could have been a good choice for like a promo single or something like that is First Night. And this has Mouse on here. This would have been a real nice highlight. This is a Liddy kind of night out gym. I would say it's an easy kind of packed club night. This is definitely one where I feel like it's not just a club night, but a club night where there'd be a lot of people there. Just good kind of sense of bounce. Lots of fun bounce and lots of fun bounce and dance-ish type feels about it. So this is is just kind of one that has some of the more exhilarating energy if you like the energy of independent this is another one to kind of have in that same sort of sense but there are some club moments on here but they're just in kind of different variations like i feel like fly as an eagle and a miracle are two good promo cuts just looking snazzy i feel like you've got summer songs like uh like uh, i'm hot and too smooth you've got You've got some kind of dance club moments like First Night and Independent. You've got some getting ready to step out moments like I'm Ready and Y'all Ain't Making No Money. So it's just, I like the fact that you get some good pairings with this particular type album. I just would feel like there's a good sense of a lot of concepts to kind of get on here. It's just a good sense of nightlife and it really has like, the variety about it so there's just like a lot of differential moves that there's just a lot of differential moods that work quite well and this is just an overall gem of a project so to talk about some of the ones i would recommend for like a casual sense i definitely feel like first night is a good one to kind of go for fly as an eagle has a great pimp c hook that's pretty affable i mean that one's more of like a calmer promo cut but i'd still recommend that one 
I feel like y'all ain't making no money is a pretty nice one to kind of get excited to. I feel like if you like Rick Ross and Birdman, a miracle is a pretty nice one. And I feel like a good summer scorcher is I'm hot. But the thing about this album, despite the fact that I gave it such a raised score, you have to kind of understand that this is kind of more hardcore rap. So the thing about this album is it gives off the mirage that it's only for hardcore rap in that sort of sense. But there are other gems on here apart from independent. I would just have to say there are some moments, like I was saying, like First Night, Fly as an Eagle, A Miracle, Y'all Ain't Making No Money. I miss you as a good ladies cuss. There are some moments kind of on here in that sort of concept, but don't fall for the trap of thinking if you're just looking for strictly radio hits and only like the big name songs, the ones that hit number five, number 10 on the billboard and that type of stuff. Just don't fall for that trap and you should be good. It's just kind of the concept about it, just being able to say, for the most part, most standard folks nowadays would think of Webby and just remember Independent and maybe Gimme That in some cases. But this album is chock full of gems. That's just kind of the thing I just would have to say. So, yeah, I'm going to give this album like a 10 out of 10. The social score I'll give like an 8 out of 10 just because I feel like it is good. But I do feel like the concept that it just didn't have like the extra backup hits. And it was kind of difficult just because you look after it, just being able to find another hit like Independent and kind of have that filtered out and just being able to have. I mean, I miss you is a good one, but this direct change the tempo too quickly maybe first night should have been it or a miracle or fly as an eagle one of those type ones just somewhere in that concept but i look after it it's still a pretty good quality on here it just doesn't have like chock full of like number five number eight type singles as far as that kind of goes this is in that concept but it is, it's you know there's gems on here so just know that but yeah, in turn, to talk about some of the songs I didn't enjoy, there's not many like Just Like Me, Thug In, and You Would Trip are about the only ones. I didn't really like the beat at all on Thug In. It was kind of a waste of a good Trillian Antique Posse collaboration. Like Lil Boozy, Lil Fat, and Sheller. Lil Boozy, Lil Fat, and Shell are all on here, but this was a bad rendition. Really felt like that was one of the probably more lagging and kind of lackadaisical and just kind of lackluster beats on the album. Just Like Me was kind of more of a personal cut that just didn't do the damage for me. And You A Trip was kind of like a personal kind of, you know, dealing with kind of shady folks type atmosphere that just was not quite as catchy. So I, I did like the, the, the lyrics in that song, but just the beat was just not quite as hitting. This felt more, You A Trip felt more like a glum type song that just didn't nail the energy and the production value. So that's this kind of thing. But really those are minor complaints because I gave this album a 10 out of 10. So those three songs really don't match the album nearly as much to say that it's not still a basic damn near classic i would have to say that's this kind of thing so this yeah the social score gets an eight in terms of the future like webby has dropped i want to say he's up to like savage life five or six he's named every one of his albums savage life he does have mixtapes and stuff like that i'm going to get to some more of this stuff plenty of good webby to kind of go around and get to so there's definitely some good stuff in there but this is a pretty excellent highlight i would have to say so definitely don't overlook or sleep on this